<coughs> Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, uh, syphilitic meningitis. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. You know? And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. You know? Now first I come to the topic, what is uh, 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 syphilitic meningitis? You know? You know, the syphilis is a sexually transmitted disease or sexually transmitted infection, you know, and uh, that can lead to the meningitis if it's left untreated. And uh, this is an infection of the layers of uh, the tissues uh, that cover the aseptic, uh, like, uh, let's cover the brain, you know, and the spinal cord. And uh, uh, syphilitic meningitis is also called as uh, syphilitic aseptic meningitis you know so this is the alternative name and uh, it can be life-threatening uh, but it is preventable you know and early diagnosis and the treatment treatment of the syphilis can prevent this complication and uh, it takes years or even maybe decades for the untreated syphilis to cause the neurological disease like this one you know so the next thing is what are the symptoms of uh, syphilitic uh, meningitis you know you know it refers to any inflammation of the tissues that surround the brain uh, which are called meninges you know and uh, bacteria or fungi or the viruses uh, can all cause meningitis you know and the syphilitic meningitis symptoms include like uh, vein changes which I mean is that uh, like blurred vein or loss of vein you know or maybe fever you know and headache or maybe changes in the mental status, you know, um, confusion, nausea, vomiting, uh, or pain or the stiffness in the neck and in the shoulders, you know, and unexplained fatigue, you know, and uh, uh, muscle pains and maybe the like, uh, like a lack of interest in eating or drinking, you know, and. Uh, Advanced syphilis can uh, cause like uh, blindness or maybe the dementia or maybe the numbness and maybe the paralysis, you know. And uh, in some cases, uh, it can even cause death, you know. So this is a serious uh, condition, you know. But it does not develop over the time. It takes years and maybe decades to develop, you know, if the syphilis is left untreated. So that's why it's very important that syphilis is detected at the early stage and treated properly, you know to avoid these kind of complications. The next thing is what are the causes of uh, syphilitic uh, meningitis, you know. You know the bacterium uh, Treponema uh, pallidum is the bacteria which cause the syphilis, you know. And the many people have syphilis for years without noticeable symptoms. And because of this, it, it's mostly it's uh, left undiagnosed and untreated and when the syphilis is detected and treated promptly the complications are very rare and even without treatment no one with the syphilis will develop meningitis you know and uh, it affects uh, about uh, uh, 8 to 40 percent of uh, uh, untreated patients and uh, the neurologic complications uh, of the syphilis usually does not uh, occur until years, you know, or even sometimes decades, you know, uh, after the infection. And a person might have the syphilis for up to 10 to 20 years before meningitis develops, you know. Okay, so you are at a greater risk uh, if you have uh, any other sexually transmitted infection. And, uh, uh, this is because having an, another sexually transmitted infection suggests that you have had unprotected sex, you know. And uh, unprotected sex is a major risk factor for the syphilis, as you know. And the disease can be spread through the oral sex, through the vaginal sex, or the, the anal uh, intercourse. You know? So these are the uh, sexual activities uh, who cause the spread of this infection, you know, from person to person. And uh, it's possible to transmit the syphilis through the non-sexual contact, uh, but it's rare. And you should note that uh, 
you have had syphilis in the past you can get it again you know so you need to be very careful and uh, the condition is diagnosed with the physical examination and the lab tests you know and examples of the tests uh, may include like uh, eye movement tests you know imaging scans of the brain uh, a venereal disease research uh, uh, lab test which is known as uh, VDRL you know and rapid plasma uh, region you know like uh, RPR and uh, blood culture uh, for the bacteria you know so these are the tests which can be used to diagnose the syphilis you know and your doctor may also test the other conditions that can cause the symptoms same like uh, syphilis like pneumonia or maybe malaria or maybe Lyme disease you know uh, to rule out these conditions once diagnosed then what are the treatment options is another question you know? You know, as I said, it's very important that uh, it's detected at the early stage, you know, and you will need to take the antibiotics for several weeks if you are diagnosed with the syphilis. And uh, intravenous antibiotics will likely be used for 10 to 14 days after this year of may recommend weekly penicillin shots for another three weeks, you know. So it's a very long treatment course, you know, and you should always finish that course, okay. And, uh, Curing the infection uh, may not end your treatment and you may also need to address uh, life-threatening symptoms which are caused by the infection, you know. And they may include like brain swelling or maybe shock or maybe dehydration or colonialians, you know. And uh, surgery may be needed to drain the fluid from the brain or maybe the sinus cavities, you know, if needed. And uh, if it's a left hand treated, the complications uh, uh, can quickly progress and cause death. You know? And it can cause the brain and the heart damage that can lead to stroke or maybe seizures. And don't ignore the symptoms. Okay. And the, some people uh, recover fully from this condition and the nerve damage can be the permanent. You know? So uh, syphilitic meningitis also puts you at greater risk of uh, other infection because it damages the immune system thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link for the website is just below this video in the description and please do not forget to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel thank you goodbye